Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another reading. This time it is on Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. So I actually did a reading on them in the royal wedding before it happened a million years ago. Um, I will put a link to it here. Fair warning, it's scuffed. It's really, 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 really poorly executed because it was the one of the first readings I've ever done. Um, and it was just clipped and ripped right from my Twitch stream. So there's alerts going off and it's kind of chaotic. However, I did predict a lot of what's going on. It's the way I communicated it, probably a little bit too blunt and straightforward. I've definitely learned a new approach at communicating for sure. That was like the first time I've ever done a video like that. Reminder, I've been doing this for a long time, uh, just not on YouTube. Uh, so um, definitely learned how to properly express some of the concerns I had back then. However, I digress. You got the gist of it. I was right about a lot of things. Um, so back then everyone was loving her and then now the media is kind of picking up on some selfish tendencies, which unfortunately I did see coming. So I am just gonna see what I see. I'm gonna trust my intuition and the cards. Please don't send any hate to me or anyone else. Um, remember these readings are all alleged for entertainment purposes only. And I'm just going off of what I see. Um, so I'm going to get true intentions here. All right. So let's just get started. <sighs> okay. Well, she's definitely rebellious. So the Knight of Wands is a rebellious person, um, someone who's trying to cause a problem. So yes, I mean, obviously shocker. She's got an ax to grind. She's a little bit mad at how she's been treated. Um, so it's complete rebellious stuff. Again, I'm just being honest when it's a night, it is a little bit childish, but I digress. The nine of swords is about overthinking and overanalyzing and the king of wands is upright. Um, so to me, she, she wants people to, to, she wants, I guess it's probably the Royals. She wants them to kind of be shook a little bit. So she's kind of just trying to make them nervous. You know, when like you're edging someone, you're like, ooh, that's kind of what it is. It's like, she's not really going to say much and she's not really going to do much, but she wants them to think that she's going to say stuff and do stuff. She's basically calling the bluff. Like that's what it is. Like she's bluffing about a lot of the stuff that she wants to share um, because she wants them to, to sort of be terrified, but she's not actually going to do much. So the King of Wands here tells me that she still does care about the image. Um, I do still see this and I'm sorry, um, but I have to say it. As you know, the Ace of Pentacles is money. The Page of Pentacles is money and expectations and the Ace of Cups is love. I do believe that financial abundance and opportunity was a major factor in her marriage. I know a lot of people find that controversial. It shows up every single time. I also do think that she enjoys the money that she's making from going to the rounds, you know, and, you know, the publications and stuff like that, or at least the attention or the acquirement of things because the Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles indicates a physical acquirement. So I do have to say that. Again, it showed up. It's right there. I can't read that any other way. Please do not shoot the messenger. I am just doing my job here. Um, the Fool's Upright, which means that she plays naive very well. Um, she is not naive. So that's a, a, another thing that I have to say. The temperance card says she's very patient and she waits. And the three of pentacles is reversed here, which tells me that she has some last curveball that she's saving up her sleeve. Um, something that she hasn't put too much work into yet, but she will, if she has to, um, now, I don't really follow the Royals. I don't really know anything about the Royals. Um, so I'm not sure what the pregnancy or children stuff is like. So I can't really comment on this. But there's some sort of drama when it comes to kids. Um, I don't know if there was problems with naming kids. I don't know if there's a problem with having kids. I don't know if there's a problem with how many kids. Um, but there is definitely a problem with that. The Knight of Pentacles is consistency. So, and the Six of Cups is kids. So we see that as like, this is a tradition that we do all the time. And then we see the Five of Swords, which means she doesn't want that tradition. So there has to be some sort of disconnect with the traditions of children versus what she wants for her children. Again, I'm sorry, I don't follow the Royals. So I have no idea what's going on. And I'm kind of probably should have figured that out, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Someone will tell me in the comments. Um, 
Again, this is the same behavior that I saw before. The Eight of Wands is reversed, the Sun is reversed, and the Ten of Wands. So the relationship is is a little bit of a burden. It's not an unhealthy burden. Um, shocker, it's the Royals. Um, but the Sun is reversed and the Eight of Wands, which says slowly over time, the happiness has dissipated from their connection. I am not really shocked to see that. Um, I see her as extremely, extremely demanding. Um, again... I don't, I don't know how else to say this because this is just how she shows up. Now, mind you, I do know, the one thing I am aware of is that there's a lot of racism towards her in the media. I just want you to remember that two things can be happening at once. She could be kind of selfish while they're also being racist. So I think you need to keep that in mind is that both of those things can happen at the same time. Um, and I actually feel like that's what's going on because once again, the queen of swords is about saying one thing and doing another, which is a sly character to me. It's also someone who's bossy and probably has poor communication skills behind closed doors. Um, the queen of cups, again, cold emotionally. These two are the coldest cards I could pull for a female. So again, I'm sorry. I just have to say that. Please don't shoot the messenger. I'm open to being wrong, but I was right the first time. So take it as you will. Um, the king of pentacles is status. Um, I also see that as someone who's strong. So that's, uh, I think Harry is his name, right? I don't think he cares. I, I see him as like a rock. I see him as just, a, I'm going to be honest. I see him as a follower. Um, he wanted a strong woman to follow and he found it. Um, so I don't really see him as having any of his own thoughts. I don't really see him having his own ideas. Um, I kind of just see him following. Um, so that's what I see. Um, the two of swords is upright. The six of pentacles is the verse and the two of pentacles. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's not shocking. He wants to separate from all of them because he doesn't like the restrictment. He wants to be free. He doesn't like all the rules, the restrictment. He doesn't like how unfair everything is. So, shocker, he wants out of that. Um, Magician's Upright, Five of Wands, and Seven of Wands. Who is this? Uh-oh. She needs to be careful. So the magician is her saying something. Uh-oh. Okay, the five of wands is a confrontation. The seven of wands means she can't get out of it. There is something that she either tweeted in the past, said in an interview, or maybe currently is recorded on a phone call saying something or something like that. Someone has something she said that is really bad. Uh, the Queen of Wands is a verse, which is like her angry. And the Page of Swords is like uh, something you don't want to combat about. And the Nine of Pentacles is a verse, which is other people. So I got the motivation for her pit trying to piss people off and bluffing. Someone has something on her and they're, they were threatening to release it if she didn't fall in line. So she ran to America to start talking to make them nervous. So we have... Her trying to call their bluff while bluffing herself and whoever this is having this piece of information on her and having to decide whether they want to relieve it, re release it or not or what they're going to do with it. So she's aware of this and, or at least has an inkling of it and she's trying to beat them at their own game. Um, yikes. Yeah. And the lover's card's reversed and the two of cups is reversed. So it has to be, um, there might be two things. There might be something from her past. The lover's card makes me think of parallels. So I think there's someone from her past before she was married. And there's also someone from, I think, the royal family or in that circle. Because the two of cups is reversed and the nine of cups, which means that this is someone that did not want them to get married. <clears throat> And she's also got to be careful because, because there is another piece of information that they have on her that they're waiting for her to accidentally incriminate herself in an interview. So she really needs to be careful because I see self-sabotage and the Ace of Wands with the Four of Cups, which is just attachment and the birth of something new. So is she pregnant? Because the Ace of Wands could be a pregnancy and that could be like an announcement that they're trying to, that they're trying to sabotage. I wonder if they're going to try and sabotage a pregnancy announcement or something like that, or maybe they're waiting until she gives birth and then they're releasing it. But there's definitely something, um, yeah, gossip fodder. Yep. And the seven of cups and the hermits upright. This girl is screwed and it's her own fault. 
So, unfortunately, she really, truly thinks that she can outsmart the royals. And that is why I told you she is naive in the beginning of this reading. She is completely delusional and actually vehemently believes that she can outsmart them. They didn't exist for a gajillion years for no reason. And she is so, so short-sighted in this. <sighs> why would you do this? You, you knew what you were getting into. Why would you do this? Oh, my God. I will say this. I don't see true love. I know everyone likes to paint that story. I, I'm not saying it's not there. All I'm saying is I don't see it. So I can't comment on what I don't see. Take that as you will. Interpret as you will. Um, the Eight of Cups is about running. The Judgment card is reversed, which is embarrassment. And the Strength card is stubbornness. So she... Yeah, I see her kind of trying to run from this situation when it happens. Ugh. You want to know what's going to happen? Megan thinks that the that the media being on her side is a victory. What she doesn't realize is the media is on her side because it's making her, them money. And when it no longer makes them money, they're going to chuck her aside and they're going to throw her under the bus. And that's what the Hierophant is. The Nine of Cups is reversed and the Nine of Swords. So this is like impure intentions. That's the freaking media. The Nine of Cups is about eventually not getting what we want from you. And the Hierophant is something we committed to. So it has to be the commitment she's making to all the media stuff that she's doing. They like you now. But when they don't like you anymore, they're going to spin the narrative and you're going to get screwed. And guess what? They're going to reconnect with the, the royals. They might be against the royals now, but they need the royals for the gossip fodder. So they'll go right back to them and you'll be chucked to the side. She is playing with fire. Girl, you are playing with fire. And the funny thing is, she has a secret on a male. So the emperor is reversed. The emperor has to be like a prominent male figure. The high priestess is distrust, which means someone told her something they shouldn't have about some prominent male in the royals. And the moon is the secret. She thinks that people will care about her secret, but not only will people not care about her secret, they either A, won't believe her, or two, it won't be published. So she thinks she has this like smoking gun, but it'll cease to exist before it ever gets gets out there. I don't know why she thinks that she can outsmart these people. It's this is so silly to me. Um this is very silly to me. Um Okay. Oh my god. Have there been cheating rumors before? Three of Wands, Two of Wands, King of Cups. So there's a King of Cups here, and there's some sort of cheating rumor. I don't know who this is. This is on a wife, Empress Reverse. There's a wife. And then, so this is a, okay. So the Wheel of Fortune is, a, is bad luck, bad opportunity. The Queen of Pentacles here is a threat to the stability. This is a wife who had no idea or who had to turn a blind eye to it. This is sex, but this is a third person, and it's a King of Cups water sign. So that could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or just someone who's emotional or seen as an emotional person or strong person. Um, there's some sort of cheating scandal here. There's like an abuse of power and somebody leaks stuff to the internet. Uh-oh. There's somebody who's directly leaking stuff to the internet that is really needs to be careful. If anyone watches this video, which I doubt anyone will watch this video, but if anyone does and you leak shit to the internet or you tell people whatever, you need to be careful because you could easily be incriminated with the Eight of Swords. They can't get Megan, but they'll get anybody around her. She's like a, it's like a ticking time bomb. Anybody who touches her or goes near her is going to have shit thrown at them. Oh, this is chaos. Well, yeah, anybody she does an interview with, anybody she works with, anybody she does anything with is going to have stuff coming out about them. The King of Swords reverse. They're going to try and push them out of their position and alienate them eventually. So if you work with them, you basically get put on a shit list. Allegedly, for entertainment purposes only. Well, I mean, again, I do think the media is being racist. But I also think that two things can happen at once. And I just think that her tendencies are a little 
self-focused and I feel like she's holding grudges and wanting revenge. So I can't lie about what I see for her motivations. Sorry. I know that's probably going to disappoint a lot of people. Probably, people are probably going to be mad at me, but I have seen this before it happened and I was right and I still see it. She doesn't give me good energy. Like when I feel when I feel in my chest right now, what I feel is so much anger, resentment and frustration. Like it literally weighs so heavy on my heart. Like it's like F this person. I don't care about this person. I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them. I'm going to get them. And I'm going to get them. And I'm going to get them. I don't think she's realized that there are certain battles that cannot be won. So I think she really needs to reassess which battles are worth taking, which aren't. And I also think she needs to remember that happiness is the best revenge. So good luck to her. Uh, my heart does go out to her. Um, and I do empathize with her situation. Um, but I also see some of the behavior patterns that she has that needs to stop. So hope you guys like that. If you did, make sure you comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And let me know what other readings you want me to do. Make sure you subscribe to me uh, down below. Hit the bell for notification when I blow next. And also follow me on Twitch. I do these live on Twitch, Twitter, TikTok, and Instagram. And for I do weekly spreads on TikTok. So go watch me. Until next time, bye guys.